Sir, I agree with you entirely that County Monaghan has a huge amount to offer tourists. One of the things that we actually can't offer them in many, to, in many occasions is a place to stay because the most um, renowned residence for tourists, place that is, uh, you know, um, has been used by Jack Charlton and the Italia 90 team has been um, one of the most esteemed hotels in the region, is shut down. And you're right, the question related to that was disallowed because it says the Minister has no official responsibility. I don't accept that because you're the Minister for Tourism. You're a member of Cabinet. It was a government scheme, the, investment, or the um, Immigrant Investor Programme, that facilitated the purchase of the hotel by people who allowed it to essentially be stagnant. The, it is an absolutely tragic scene now. The overgrowing, the fact the doors are locked, the place is becoming more run down by the day. I have to ask you, what are you and your government doing to undo the damage that you did by allowing this hotel to be sold to an entity that wasn't in a position to manage it um, eff effectively? And what will you do to ensure that the Newmore Hotel returns to be a fully functional commercial hotel without delay? Um, I, I am acutely aware of the important role the, the Newmore Hotel and Country Club played as an economic driver and tourism community in, in, in Carrick, Macross and surrounding areas throughout the year. And, and the closure of this hotel is a huge loss to, to the area. And, and while the tourism sector is rebounding strongly post-COVID, I am also always uh, concerned to hear of any such closures. Um, the loss of jobs in, in that hotel and the wider downstream impacts on other businesses in the area is of huge concern. But it is a commercial property for which orders winding up the company have been made by the High Court and a liquidator appointed by the High Court to handle all matters in relation to the liquidation. Um, and I, I, while I hope to see the property back into operation as, as a going tourism business, it, it just would not be appropriate for me, my department or Falter Ireland to intervene in the matter. You may wish that, uh, Deputy, but I have to be cognizant of what is appropriate for me in my role, and it simply would not be appropriate for me to intervene. Minister, if a hotel of this scale and esteem was opening, it would be hard-pressed for anywhere, anybody to um, be able to stay standing for the stampede of government ministers that would be running to cut the ribbon on it. So government can intervene and government can take credit when there are facilities opening, private or otherwise. But when there are problems that are caused by a government scheme, all of a sudden we're told the government can't inter intervene. This is a crucial economic project for the region that has been denied to the people of Carpet Cross, South Monaghan and the wider region. It is having profound implications for our ability to attract tourism. All of the very good initiatives that you outlined in your opening remarks count for naught if we have no place for people to stay when they come to Carpenter Cross. We had a top class facility for conferences, for concerts, for engagements of, for all, of all the, the descriptions and we had a place where people could stay in the most salubrious of lo, um, locations with brilliant views, with great access to um, golfing and the other amenities that South Monaghan have to offer. That has been taken away from the people of Carpenter Cross and now there are huge concerns about what the future of that hotel um, will, will look like and the, those premises will look like. And it is imperative that government take an active, hands-on approach to this issue. And I'm asking you, I'm appealing to you to take a hands-on approach to ensure that this hotel returns to being a fully functional, top-class tourism and economic driver for our region.